The Sentinella Valley Union High School District works hard to provide students with the best education. Here we introduce you to some who help students reach their potential. On this Spotlight Education Edition, we'll be focusing on high school principals. We're at Hawthorne High School where we'll be learning about the woman leading the school. Have your ID or at least your power school screen ready. A new school year brings new challenges and sometimes changes, as it did this year for students and staff at Hawthorne High School. Dr. Pamela Brown may be the new face around campus, but is far from being new to the district. Hawthorne High School, Dr. Brown speaking. How can I help you? She's just so authoritative, but yet kind. She really brings everything to the table when it comes to being a principal. Dr. Brown joined the district in 1999 as a 10th grade teacher at Lusinger High School, her alma mater. I'm also a product of this area. I still live in this area, and so I just thought it was a natural fit. From there, she fulfilled several positions, including being the AVID coordinator, associate principal, to then finally becoming the principal at Lusinger four years ago. In the process of being an associate principal, I learned like everything about the high school. I learned, you know, master schedule, which is building the schedule to make sure on the first day that our kids have the courses that they need, to um, working with our kids on attendance, to working with our kids on behavioral interventions. She is so approachable. Her door is always open. It, she likes to get out there. Um, I have many Twitter pictures of her jumping rope, dressing up, students throwing colored powder onto her. If it's with students, she's absolutely willing to do it and because of that, people really love her. But her career didn't start here. It was because of life changes that led her on the path of education. It's actually, it's a second career for me. I um, worked in marketing and insurance and then I had kids and decided to stay home with my kids. And through that process, volunteering at their school when they were younger, and through that process, um, I really liked being able to work with students who had uh, struggled and, and had some dif uh, difficulty academically. And so from there, I went back and got my uh, degree in English education and started working in high school, and I've loved it ever since. With 21 years in education, Dr. Brown prides herself on making sure everything she does, she does it thinking about the students. We play such a huge role in the lives of the kids and, you know, the options that they have beyond high school and, you know, what the messages are like that we deliver. And I think um, that pushed me into the role of becoming a principal. Now starting her fifth year as principal, but this year at Hawthorne High, she says that though things may be different, everyone has been extremely welcoming and she's loving it here. Everybody says, how do you feel after being at Losing Your for 20 years and now you're at Hawthorne? And what I say to them is, you know what, at the end of the day, I love what I do and I love kids. It's just a different school with a different set of kids and a different set of adults that I'm working with, but I'm still doing what I love. And that love she has is watching high school students evolve and learn who they are as individuals by the time they graduate. Ultimately, that senior year when they're walking across the stage, it's like, I feel like a proud mom of like 480 kids who are graduating. So, um, you know, it's always great for me to know that I am impacting um, so many kids. Hawthorne is very fortunate to have someone that cares so much about students and has so much experience that can bring to the job there to continue that school marching forward to greater success in the future. Along with being invested in who the students become, Dr. Brown says she's focused on meeting the needs of the parents as well. With Dr. Brown here at Hawthorne High School, we take you over to Lusinger to learn all about their new principal. Thanks, Jennifer. I just had the opportunity to sit down with Dr. Howard Ho, who's not only a South Bay native, but a former Lusinger Olympian. I actually grew up uh, down the street from here um, in the city of Gardena and uh, attended elementary school around the area, went to Roosevelt Elementary, and then uh, for, for middle school, I attended Will Rogers in the city of Londell, and after that, I attended Losinger from 93 to 97. Dr. Ho went on to continue his higher education at El Camino College, then transferred to Cal State Dominguez Hills, where he earned his BA in liberal studies in hopes of becoming a teacher. So when I was a teacher, I had, I had a great experience here working as a teacher. And then when I had a chance to work as, a, as the activities director 
and the associate principal. Um, I, I really enjoyed my time doing that. I just feel like it's, it's, it's an, a, a great opportunity for me to, uh, like I said, give back to uh, this community and this school that has given me so much. Now as principal, Dr. Ho is working to ensure that all students at Luzinger have the opportunity for success. My vision as a principal is to uh, make sure that all of our students graduate from high school um, and that they're ready to uh, pursue uh, a career or go to college. You know, I'd like for all of our students to be eligible to attend a four-year university once they graduate from Luzinger. Superintendent Greg O'Brien says Dr. Ho was a clear choice to fill the position as principal. He's the kind of individual who says, I want to be with students, I want to see them succeed. He loves Luzinger. It was one of our smoothest transitions simply because everyone already knew his work ethic. So Intervention specialist Joel Romero started as a teacher 22 years ago, just around the same time Dr. Ho was attending Luzinger. He was here, actually I began here, I believe towards the end of his uh, uh, stay as a student. I don't remember him as a student, um, but what I hear is that he was great as a student. 12 years later, Mr. Romero and Dr. Ho not only work together, but have become close friends. Dr. Ho is a, a person that you can easily get along with. Um, he's, he's great as a leader, um, and uh, he's great as a friend as well. I met him when, when we first were teaching together. He was DJing on the side, you know, so we, we had a lot of common uh, interests in regards to music and, and fashion outside of work. Interesting fact, Dr. Ho first got into DJing 90s hip hop back in high school through one of his classmates at Losinger. I've always enjoyed music and he was, he was telling me how he, uh, he has turntables. And I was like, whoa, you know, let me check that out. I've never seen something like that before. And so I started DJing like little, you know, events here and there. Uh, till today, sometimes I'll still do uh, a wedding. When he's not busy at work, he can be found at home enjoying what he loves, music and family. I've been married for five years now. Uh, I have a three-year-old three daughter and a one-year-old daughter. And so, uh, you know, this job um, requires me to be present uh, on campus a lot, but when I'm not here, when I'm not at work, uh, I do enjoy spending time with my family. When asked if he would send his kids to Luzinger in the future. It's funny you ask that because uh, I have this conversation with parents all the time, you know, because I was a student here at one, at one point. And I always tell parents, because uh, they ask me, you know, like, what do you think of the school? Um, can you tell me a little bit about the school, the academics? And they usually, it usually sums everything up when I tell them that I have no problem sending my kids here to Losinger High School. Dr. Howard Ho says he's happy to be back in Losinger High School, taking on the role of principal. From the Losinger Olympians to the Cardinal Nest, we'll head over to Londo High School to learn more about their principal. Okay, so this is how the kids know me. Because now Dr. Rodas is here. Let's go. Point it. Oh, yeah, the ring. Right, right. The ring. Oh, yeah. Woo. Ask any of her students. I'm going to call myself a confident cardinal. I think you are a confident cardinal. I see that your braces match our colors. I know, right? Well, she's more than a principal to us. She just, she's like a school mother. What does it mean for you to be in these hallways as the principal now of the school? You know, walking the halls, seeing what's happening in the classrooms, the engagement, the learning, the work of our teachers. I see the relationships being built. I see the students forming relationships with each other with their teachers. And speaking of teachers, well, let's just say they view her in a slightly different light. She's the main supporter and the main person that's leading the charge. I am Wonder Woman. People on my administrative team, the people on what we call our leadership team, I call them the Justice League. We all have superhero identities. Just like any superhero group, there's a mission. And Dr. Rodas uses one special acronym as the bedrock to not only her leadership, but school morale. We believe in the acronym ROCKS. It stands for Respect, Ownership, Commitment, Kindness, and Safety. For me, it reminds me of what my role is so that I can then in turn pass that down to my students. But earning her way to wearing the cape has been met with some challenges. Getting to this job was difficult, and there have been multiple times where I know I've been turned down just because I was a woman. Mentors and strong women when she was younger helped Dr. Rodas craft the vision for her own life. I had a phenomenal experience in high school. I still have personal relationships with my teachers, 
my counselor, um, some of the folks that were administrators at my school. The example that I had from those women that uh, led me to believe that this is something I could do. Even though she's taken a non-traditional route into her current role, originally thinking medicine was her calling. But I fell into the job while I was working as a researcher in biotech as a chemist. Um, and the schedule wasn't working. I was raising my five-year-old son by myself. So she switched gears into teaching. And along her journey, she's met some pretty interesting people. One of the more exciting times was when the last NBA lockout happened. Ball players like James Harden and Derek Fisher all sit on her wall of fame from her previous job as the athletic director at Miracosta High School. There's even one of her hanging with the dog. Sometimes they do a little double take. They're like, wait, is that? But there's one photo in particular that gives her the biggest street cred among her students. The favorite part is when the kids look at the picture of Lisa Leslie and I in high school uh, and they say, wait, is that you? And sports has always been her passion. Why it's no surprise, she rocks this baby. It's what ties uh, us together. A proud moment for her and the school when the Londo Cardinals football team fought their way to becoming state champs last year. We said, this is the goal, this is where we want to go. And we know we're going to have to work hard and sacrifice to get there. Words taken out of a chapter of her own life, where the journey hasn't been easy, but it's one she doesn't regret. It feels like a lot, but at the same time, it still feels like yesterday. Setting the tone for students and teachers alike. Working with Dr. Rothus, you just feel to yourself, wow, she knows what she's doing. She has all this experience. She has a family. She knows how to balance the two. And she's just a real inspiration to watch. She's very dedicated to these kids and she's very dedicated to her job. You can really tell she she's not about the money. She really cares about the kids here and the staff. Ready to tackle another school year. And just steps away is our final stop at Lloyd Continuation High School. Lloyd High School is an alternate path for students to not only obtain their diplomas, but to become successful later on in life. And leading the way once again is third year principal Ben Wardrop. Hey, how you doing, bud? No cameras for me, no cameras for me. You just look the other way, you don't have to cover your face. Too famous. You don't have to cover your face. They're doing a story about our school. Because we do a great job. We're a model school in the state of California. Tomorrow I'll have it for you. But and we're actually meeting at Hawthorne High School. It's at Hawthorne because they're doing the travel to each of the schools. You guys have had a very clean table every day at the end of lunch. I'm proud of what you guys have been doing. Thank you. Keep it up. Why didn't you guys get food? No, food Go, no, food's good. The food is good. <laughs> El va, nosotros vamos, ellos van. So which one's it going to be? We. We. You doing okay, bud? Yeah. Yeah? What are you working on? I was born in Michigan. I uh, moved out here to California when I was six, just down the road. I was living in Torrance. After multiple relocations, Principal Wardrop graduated from San Diego State and began his teaching career in South Central before arriving in Hawthorne. So I uh, came here to Sentinel Valley in 2008 and started at uh, Hawthorne High School. Loved it. Uh, great people there, great students. Um, just a lot of fun working with those kids in that, uh, in, in that group at that school. He then transitioned to an administrative role, becoming the associate principal at Lawndale High before taking on the challenge at Lloyd. I didn't have experience in, con in continuation schools or alternative education. I mean, I think this provided me an opportunity for a new challenge, um, a new chapter, and uh, for some personal growth. And I feel like it's provided me that. Now entering his third year, Principal Wardrop has developed a reputation on campus for bringing a very personal approach to his job. He meets with every single student as they come into the school. He meets with every individual student throughout the school year. He is there to find what's the program that will work for each of them. The students know that because he's there to support them, that they know that they can come to him. And I think they really appreciate that about him. Outside of the classroom, Principal Wardrop has a passion for basketball where he coached at Hawthorne High for several years. And I taught there for four years, uh, and I was coaching basketball there as well, which I, I loved and I, I, I reminisce on every day today still. It's that passion that he has for his students that continues to drive him every day. He's a firecracker. And sometimes I need to put a GPS on him just so I can find him because he's on the go 24 seven, especially when it comes to the kids. He's in and out everywhere. Kids first, it's always, always been, his motto is kids first. 
His goal is to ensure those kids are prepared for what he calls life after Lloyd. We want to make sure we're sending our students off not just with a diploma, but actually ready to use the skills that they've learned here to be successful in life. It's a goal that he says he's excited to continue pursuing for many years to come. Thanks for watching this Spotlight Education Edition. I'm your host, Jennifer Murillo. We'll see you next time.